David Knobling and Robin Edwards were last seen alive by their families a few days before their bodies were found. 30 years later, the case has not been solved. Now David's brother is speaking out on his search for answers. For Mike Knobling, this garage is a second home of sorts. And it's not just because it's a glorified man cave, complete with a TV surround sound system. And then there's Brandon Cooks. And any tool he could ever want. There is one tool out of his entire collection that has become a cherished possession. Let's see, which one is it? The snap-on three-quarter inch. Yeah, a little box in. This was David's wrench. It's the only one I have of his. David is Mike's brother, a brother who was taken from his family in a brutal and mysterious killing in 1987. The eldest Knobling was a gearhead, and Mike followed his brother's footsteps to the garage. Yeah, I spent a lot of time talking to David out here. This is where I think of him. This is where I feel him. A 30-year absence has not diminished the bond of brothers. I miss him. Miss him very much. David missed out on most of Mike's life, and Mike still isn't sure exactly what happened. It's hard. It's hard not having somebody to blame. You took my brother. You know, somebody to be mad at, angry at. On September 19th, 1987, the brothers went out with their cousin and Robin Edwards. Mike and David went back to their mom's house, the younger brother remembering their last moments together clearly. Uh, we sat out in the driveway smoking a cigarette, and then he left, and I actually got to say bye, you know, because he was pulling out of the driveway as I was going back in, and that was the last time I seen him. David met up with Robin again. A couple days later, his truck was found abandoned, and two days after that, their bodies were found at Ragged Island Wildlife Refuge in Isle of Wight. Both had been shot to death. It was horrendous. It was the worst day of my life, for sure. The night David and Robin were here at Ragged Island, it was raining heavily, so there's concern any evidence at the crime scenes would have been washed away. So Mike has pretty much given up hope any evidence or the investigation will ever lead to an arrest. The FBI and Virginia State Police are working this case, the killing of a couple the year before and two other double homicides in the next two years together as the Colonial Parkway murders. But Mike says communication with authorities dropped off as the years went on. Still, he hopes state police, the lead agency in his brother's case, will not give up. So you got a master the playbook, you got to In the meantime, in the absence of answers, he finds solace in his garage and his memories. That 10 minutes we spent on the driveway has comforted me for the last 30 years. State police tell me there is currently no physical evidence linking the four double homicides collectively known as the Colonial Parkway murders. But because there are similarities, VSP and the FBI continue to coordinate and communicate, working together on possible leads and eliminating suspects. Laura Geller, 13 News Now.